What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. We are back with our UFC Undisputed 3 Middleweight Pride Tournament Championship Bracket Prom Pro, whatever you want to call it. And today is the final fight before the court before the semi-final, sorry. We've already got one semi-final matchup, which is Damien Meyer. No, yeah, it is Damien Meyer, sorry. It's Damien Meyer against Chris Lieber, and I just can't look at that at the minute. And today's fight is Antonio Nogueira against Vitor Belfort. Whoever wins this will be fighting Chuck Liddell for a spot in the finale. So let's get into it. As always, guys, I am just a commentator. I do not have, um, I do not play as anyone. Both guys have had a little bit of damage, nothing major though. So let's jump into this one. All right, guys, Nogueira, Belfort, let's throw down. Belfort putting on a masterclass against Vondelay Silva. And Nogueira done pretty well against Rampage Jackson. Straight away, Nogueira goes for the takedown against Belfort. Belfort seems to stuff it and then transition into a sprawl. Denies the get up as well. And uh, and now he's on full guard. Straight away, Vitor Belfort is just becoming a free. I did not expect him to get this far. I know it's only the second fight, but I didn't expect him to even get past Vondelay Silva. So for me, this is quite impressive to see him do this and dominate people. And they get him up. Yeah, good idea. Break. That's boring. I don't want to watch that shit. Alright, come on guys, throw throw hands, come on, that's it, Vitor, what's happened to you, you were doing, the first fight you were like a free, you were like a bat out of hell with your striking, oh my god, good combos there though, so nasty, went for the body kick, was was blocked, fair play, neither fight has drastically hurt here, Nogueira again with the overhand. Oh, nasty shots by Nogueira there. Good two pick, two good two hit combo. Oh, good uppercut as he took that jab. You know, take one to give one kind of thing, and to take a jab and give an uppercut is no short feat there. Vitor Belfort's head movement at the minute is pretty exceptional. I'm quite surprised he's he's the one with the most movement out of the whole tournament. I didn't expect him to go that way. Good denial on the takedown there. Good knee to the head. Good shot while in sprawl. He's going to try and go into half guard and it's been denied. Hopefully he gets into side control here. Maybe that's what he goes for. Nope, he got up. Fair enough. They want to obviously stand up, stand and bang. They seem to only be really going for takedowns when it's just to earn that extra little bit of point fighting. But other than that, they are both ready for the knockout. They're both going for it. From big heavy hands there. Good liver kick there by Nogueira just before this, this series of striking. Good good free punch combo by uh, Nogueira there to throw the straight, the straight, and then the, uh, the backhand hook. Good uppercut by Vitor, getting him just in that range to throw it. Missed that teep kick there by moving. Oh, good takedown by Nogueira there. Perfectly timed and perfectly transitioned by Vitor Belfort. Denied transition. Can't seem to posture up here. He seems to be stuck. And Nogueira just wants him on his feet. He just wants to stand. Nogueira's going for another takedown, which has been denied here. I think he knows he can't stand with Belfort, but who knows? He could land one good punch and knock him out cold. You never know what's going to happen in this sport. Especially in this game. This game is fucking wild. Good body shots. That's lucky, man. That could have gone one or two ways. A nasty knockout or a takedown. Luckily for Nagero, it was a takedown. He got up. Vitor doesn't want to be on his back. Good two hitter there, man. Those were heavy shots. Those are the kind of shots that hurt later in the fight. Good denial on the takedown there. That's it. That's it, Belfort. Posture up. Yep. No. Nope. Going for another takedown. I think Belfort's probably going to stuff this one. Yep. There he is. Bang. Oh, nasty knee to the head there by Belfort. Another knee to the head, but that one was slightly blocked. And he's got him in a full guard. Nice one. Oh, in half guard. Well done. Nogueira is making a little bit of movement here on the ground, and it's been reversed straight away. Uh, nope. And it's been reversed again into half guard. He tried to go in top mount, that was denied. Got into side control though, which is a dominant position in this game. Bang, good shots there, good shots, good shots. We've got three minutes left in this round. They're in north side. This is a nasty position to be in, yep. This is a nasty position to be in. You need to start throwing lots of shots to go to be able to finish. This fight could be very well be over. It is all over. Nogueira with the TKO victory over Vitor Belfort. Wow. I did not expect the fight to go that way. But once you're in that north-south and you're in pride mode, you start throwing those knees. It's over, boys. It's over. Well done to Nogueira there to get that victory. Let's watch the replay. Bang, knee to the head. Knee to the head. The ref was like, is he had enough? Bang. One punch. The ref has seen enough straight away. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
Great fight by these two gentlemen. Damn, though. Nogueira's going in with a 93% health into the next fight. That is not ideal for him. Uh, man, it's going to be tough. I think, I genuinely believe right now that I think it's going to be a Chris Lieben or Damian Meyer win. Because um, Chuck and Antonio are going to go hammer and tong at each other, really hurt one another. And I could see Damian Meyer probably just making Lieben tap. Uh, but that will be an interesting grappling match, I believe, and that will be a good. That would just be a good fight in general. But we've got two more fights before the finals, guys. Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying it. If you have, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below, and I will catch you in the next one for the two fights leading to the finale and the champion of this middleweight Grand Prix. Peace.